With fight night just five days away, the boxing public and boxing media are treated to an open workout with the champion Steve Molitor. But the trip brings a familiar face to the gym in the form of Neil Fannon, who trained Michael Hunter, a man both men have boxed in their careers. I think you got Michael Hunter. Uh, who's Kyle Hunter after the Jordan? After I beat him, I don't think he was the same player. No, no. The, uh, after you beat him, you lost all the time. This is Chris's track. He, 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 he tried to bring himself back. He, you know, he tried to psych himself up. He really couldn't. You know. but it was a different uh, the, uh, Michael Hunter than I was. I fought a better Michael Hunter than he was. I think I did. I see him, he didn't look the same, he didn't react the same. No, I agree with that as well. One round that he was doing was... And he didn't do that bad against him. Like he, was, he, was, he was kind of competitive, right? Yeah. He started the bad, didn't he? He started yeah. the bad against Jason. Yeah, it was a competitive fight. It's not as big as I thought it would be, you know, like watching him on TV and being face to face with him. Yeah, nothing that nothing they can say that can worry you guys. Oh yeah, no, fine, no. no. <laughs> My mum scares me more than anything. Anybody touches this picture, the, the fucking session will be ended instantly. Steve, who is that picture? My son. How old's your son? Two years old. Uh, Twenty months. And will he be? Will he be watching at home on the TV? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Do you keep tra travel with that picture all the time? Yeah, I got I got more pictures. I got two kids, but one's my stepson, this is my son. This is the only picture I had that I could bring to the gym, you know what I mean? And what's that, in inspiration or? This motivation remind me why I'm here, you know what I mean? Just starting to move the office from our Chiseler's base up to um, the northeast uh, for the final sort of week as it's, a, as it's a total fight instead of going up for Four chair as we're going to do in the whole week up there. But, you know, they're they're both professionals. They're both very good. I'm very pleased with the um, sort of press Jason Booth's been getting um, over the last couple of weeks. You know, it's an incredible story of how he's turned his life around. And also, there's the Steve Molitor um, issues with his with his brother, uh, which is very sad. And so it sort of makes it makes. I don't know, it just makes it, it makes a great sort of story and you know, it'll make a better story if um, Jason can follow on from um, what Ricky Burns done the weekend who, who really impressed me with his, with his performance at world level and, and snatching the world title fight. He didn't snatch it, he completely outboxed um, the Puerto Rican champion. So, um, you know, and I think that he's a big inspiration to Jason Booth. If Jason can, can continue that, and carry on from there. I, I, I think he, he's, he's got a chance. He's always a consummate professional, so I mean, I have no worries. I don't have to be on his back for anything. Man. He's a champion. He's been there. This is his second time around, so he knows what he has to do at all, at all times in every aspect. Of it. Do you think it helps that you've been in the position where you've been away from home? You've had to make weight. You've been there. Do you think that helps? Well, I think. You know, me being a fighter, a former fighter, uh, helps in every which way. Because um, I know how he feels, I know what he's going to feel, and, you know, even sometimes before he feels it. So I know when to give him his space and, you know, when to be all over him. So, I mean, it, it, it helps being a former fighter. What's the story behind the tattoos? Because they're quite... Um... Just, just my life, you know what I mean? That was after I... That was after... No, this was after I lost to Caballero. That was my wife's father had this on his chest. That's my brother, good and evil. I'm an Aries, it's a Ram. Boxing, obviously. IBF World, when I won the world title. How I feel on most days. <laughs> yeah, well, at the beginning, I didn't think it was possible. But obviously, endurance, um, 
bit of patience and, um, and a bit of belief as well, because I, I do believe in it. I've known Jason from when he was a kid, and um, I thought to myself, well, it's worth my while having a go, bringing him back in. And um, obviously it seems to have worked out. No, I, I get it. You get it. The last week of your fight, but this is um, really like I know I'm fighting for a big title now. I'm taking it all in my stride, but like. Every day this week there's been press here and um, I've having to do big long interviews and stuff. Um, yeah, it's what it's all about. I think this is what you have to get used to. And, uh, it's when the cameras aren't looking at you, you start worrying, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Getting better every day, right? Getting better with the climate and everything. We're perfect right now. Just a couple more days. What would it have been like um, at home in Canada? What would the weather have been like? Would it have been warmer or colder? Or? A little bit warmer. Yeah, you gotta get used to that. The, time, the, the weather too much. The jet lag, all that. Well, that's past us now. We're good. Really good. Well, it, took me, it took me a few days you know, to, to get everything together, but oh, the first couple of days I slept 12 hours straight. I mean, I got lots of rest, so you know, I'm right where I should be. I mean, we thought I came in here seven or five or something days before, you know, it would have been a difficult task tonight, but you know, there was a stipulation with Frank that I came in here 10 days before. He wanted seven, I said 10, or there's no fight, so because I've been here before, I know it takes some time and ties, but it's never taken. No, it's great. Uh, the gym's full now, watching Steve Mollett all training there. Uh, and he's, uh, he's great, great to be around, great for the city, really good for it to be in Sunderland. And to be in our gym, in the Olympian gym, it's uh, fantastic. What do you think you can learn from him? Because he's a very focused, driven guy, isn't he? When you speak to him, you really get uh, the impression that it means everything to him. You do, I. He's uh, really confident, really determined, and which is, he's a world champion. It's, it's great to be around. Like, I've been around Carl Foch before, and like, you can see he's, the, he's got the same uh, mentality. So uh, it's great for him to be. In here, I'm great for me to be around him. Steve's 100% mentally ready whenever. He's a complete professional. He's always there. Mentally. You think he's there physically? Mentally, he's there 110, 120. Then, hey, what are you learning from it? Because to spend time, I mean, when you think what I learn, learn from him is the reason his physical state is this is because of his mental state. He pushes him every day, he's pushing himself, you know? He's trying to peak every day, and that's why he's up here and most people are here. Because he's pushing himself every day. Some people can't do that.